Sister Hattie Wright, all of you know, we call her Wright, her name's Mosier, but she's been a loyal person. A little old housewife lives in two rooms away back up into the hills, out there with a shovel in a hole, trying to hold the cockleburs out of a corn patch to keep her little family together. Worked faithfully. When I was sitting at the table eating dinner, I've been explaining what faith was. I said, if faith's like this, if I see a vision of Brother Shelby sitting so-and-so in each one the way there was, and Sister Hattie was sitting way back out toward another room. She didn't have much to say. Never does. And then while we were talking, I said, if the Lord showed me a vision that something was to take place, then I would, could say it. That's what raises my faith. I said, when the Lord shows me what will take place, then I've got confidence it will be that way. When he showed me, I said, I'd come right here. If that little afflicted girl sitting there and the Lord showed me she's going to be healed, I'd come right here and stand in the track, see if everything was just exactly the way he said, and then say, Thus saith the Lord, Edith, rise up and walk. I said, you'd see those little legs unfold, them little hands unfold, and she'd get up from there and walk to the glory of God. I said, if it would come like that. I've been telling them about this experience. And I said, do you know... I want to ask you something, Brother Banks Woods is sitting next to him at the table. And next set the then Sister Hattie was sitting way back, and the boys are sitting here, and Mrs. Wright, and Mr. Wright, and Shelby sitting back to my left. Now listen, don't miss this. Show you the sovereignty of God. And while we were talking, I said, I want to ask you something. What put those squirrels there? There's no squirrels in the woods. I'd hunted and hunted, and I, I'm not the best of hunter, but I've hunted since I was a little boy. And I'd hunted close, and, and they were in the most ridiculous place. And then the most ridiculous way I could call them. I said, what put them there? I said, I wonder if it is that my ministry is fixing to take a change, that the God of Abraham is confirming his promise as he did to Abraham. I said, that same Jehovah Jireh trying to get his promise over to me in my thickness and dullness of mind. He could speak my need into existence as same as he could speak Abraham's need into existence. I no more and said that until Sister Hattie's sitting there crying now. Hadn't said a word. And she said, that's nothing but the truth. She said the right thing. She said just like Banks said down there. I heard her voice as a sweat from my ears like up into the woods. Mrs. Wright, sitting back there with her little girl, was trying to interpret what Edith said. I couldn't hear Miss Wright. And that super anointing swept over me. Said, tell Hattie that she found grace in the sight of God. Who would have thought? Said, tell her to ask whatever she will. Then you speak it by this gift into existence. Amen. Whatever she asks, speak it into existence. I looked at Sister Hattie. The first time it was ever performed on a human being. I said, Sister Hattie, ask what you will. God's going to give it to you. Hattie looked around, all around, and she said, Brother Bill, my greatest desire is for the salvation of my two boys. What a, why there couldn't have been a greater thing. She could have asked for $10,000, she'd have got it. What if it had been some millionaire would have asked for another million? God knows what she's going to ask for. Sister Hattie, at least eight, seven or eight witnesses stand there. All you people that was present, when that happened, raise up your hand. 
Everybody in the building was present that happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them, eight of them, eight of them was present. When that happened, I said, ask anything you want to, because God's given it to me to give to you whatever you want. She said her boys is beginning to go off on the teenage tantrum. And she said, the salvation of my two boys. I said, by the will of God, by the power of God, I give you in the name of Jesus Christ your desire. And her two boys shook under the power of God. And that old building trembled. Banks fell into his plate, Shelby grabbed, and had he screamed to you could hear for two blocks. And them two boys with tears rolling down their cheeks received exactly what they asked for. Oh, the first time it was ever used on a human being. Ask what you will, and it shall be given unto you. Her boy sitting there with her this morning. <laughs> 